So today's video is covering common DIY mistakes when using compression fittings for plumbing. Now, first one, PTFE tape. Now, PTFE tape is great for threaded joints. However, for your typical compression fitting, it isn't required. As on a compression fitting, the threaded joint isn't the part that is making the seal, it's the olive pressing against the pipe between the fitting and the pipe that makes your seal. As you tighten up the fitting, the nut squeezes against the olive between the fitting and the pipe, closing that gap and giving you that watertight seal. So putting PTFE tape on the thread won't actually do anything. If you do have a leak on a compression fitting, one of the ways that you can fix it is using PTFE tape by wrapping the olive in PTFE tape, but not the thread. This is slightly controversial and some plumbers will say you should use jointing compound or liquid PTFE, but in my opinion, they, they will work well. Now, the other way that people use PTFE tape incorrectly is wrapping it around the wrong way, most typically on radiator tails when they're putting them into the radiator. It's important to put the PTFE tape in the opposite direction to the thread so that when you do up the thread, you're not undoing the PTFE tape, you're instead tightening the PTFE tape around the thread. Next error on compression fittings is crossing the thread. Now, this is a fairly basic one, just when people are not doing up the nut correctly and they end up crossing the thread rather than the threads merging as they should. What happens is the joint becomes tight, too tight on one side and too loose on the other side where the nut is going on at an angle. So if you ever feel like your nut is not going on to the compression fitting correctly, stop and take it off and start again. To avoid this, you should push the nut onto the joint and turn it the opposite way and you should hear a click when threads fall into each other. And at that point is when you start to tighten and then you shouldn't be feeling much resistance when doing it up. Another common problem on compression fitting joints is over tightening, where people will just tighten them way too tight. If you've got a leaking compression joint, it can be tempting to just keep tightening it and hoping the leak will stop. However, often this won't be the case and you will just damage the fitting. Doing it up tighter and tighter compresses the olive tighter and tighter and crushes it onto the pipe and you end up with an indent on the pipe which makes it difficult to ever remove and it likely won't solve the leak either. The best way to fix a leaking compression joint is a bit of PTFE tape around the olive or some liquid PTFE around the olive as well, in my opinion. 